everyone. Uh, welcome to the Layer 2 Summer Show. Today we're talking to Jean from Monte Carlo Decentralized Exchange. Hello and welcome to the show, Jean. Uh, thank you, Agna. Uh, thank you for having me. Hi, everyone. Hello. So could you please introduce yourself, Jean? Uh, share us a bit about your background, how you got into crypto and uh, what are you doing at MCDEX? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, uh, I'm the co-founder of MCDEX, a major taker, taking care of the uh, operation and marketing side. And actually before MCDEX, I was involved in, uh, in the startups in the internet industry for a couple of years. And personally, actually, I have been trading crypto, especially uh, trading derivatives for like a couple of years. So uh, as a trader myself, uh, when I met our founder team and they shared uh, some thoughts, we shared some thoughts about how big and how magical it will be to bring both the derivatives and DeFi together. And then, yeah, then we just came up, came up with the idea of MSDAX and we just devote ourselves to it and taking care of this baby for like about two, two years for now. Yeah. Wow. wow, that's very interesting. So just to tell our viewers, uh, MC Dex is doing decentralized perpetual swap trading. Um, so could you tell them a bit more about MC Dex and what kind of users are you, uh, are you expecting to use uh, the exchange? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, so MCDEX is the first fully permissionless DEX for trading perpetual contracts that is capital efficient with the top market liquidity and up to 20x leverage. And uh, our fully decentralized, uh, decentralized trading platform is powered by an AMM. Uh, it allows anyone to create a contract which can dramatically increase the market diversification on our platform. Uh, a little bit more about like what is a perpetual swap that is that is one of the most popular way of trading uh, trading cryptos right now and it has no expiration date uh, it support leverages and and the prices are soft packed to the index prices so now with mstacks anyone can create and trade perpetual contracts uh, in a fully permissionless fashion so yeah, so this is basically like a brief intro uh, of MCDEX. And regarding the users, actually uh, in the long-term run, we are expecting to, for sure, to take the traders who currently are trading on the central exchanges. Mm -hmm. But like in the short-term run, I think our targets will mostly be the DeFi users that who are already kind of familiar with DeFi projects, but they trade with leverages. So these kind of maybe our retail traders and some whale traders are our targets for now. Yeah. Okay. Understood. So perhaps that's why you're implementing on layer two to, uh, you know, reduce the cost and increase the transaction throughput um, in order to achieve uh, your goals and to reach those traders who are currently trading on centralized exchanges. Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because, you know, like, uh, you know, like last summer, like when Uniswap are kind of leading the whole DeFi summer and uh, the mostly uh, uh, and derivatives project like MCDES cannot work because our smart contract is a little bit more uh, complicated than the Uniswap. So in a normal case that the gas fee on our platform is about like 10 times higher than the Uniswap gas fees. And you can imagine, you know, how expensive yeah. to trade on the like on project like us. So that's why like uh, the derivatives project like us can only survive or can only work on layer two so mm -hmm. our business model is actually not working on layer one so that's why we are kind of very excited about this upcoming oh uh, yeah we are in the middle of it yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> we are yeah very excited about this summer that the layer two is kind of more ready and mm -hmm. it's time to you know time to 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 prove like how powerful the derivatives plus the DeFi. Right, right. And you chosen to deploy on Arbitrum. You're using rollups, optimistic rollups. So um, why did you choose Arbitrum? Are you planning to deploy an optimism as well or looking to uh, any other solutions? So as we know in the uh -huh. market, Polygon was ready uh, the fastest, yeah. but many say Polygon is not a real scaling solution. So why it was decided for you to go more complicated way and choose rollups? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, first of all, our uh, our project actually has a multi-chain uh, deployment strategy that we definitely not will not limit it to only one solution. Um, but you know, like as a new version launch, that we want to choose uh, one solution that is can potentially like high potentially bring up more trading volume can help us to prove our business model. So uh, we kind of uh, lay on, uh, we kind of choose the arbitrum for now. Um, there are some reasons behind that like I would like to share because when we, we actually did a thorough research on all of the L2 solutions in the in the space. And there are several aspects that we care more a lot. Uh, the first one is uh, EVM composable, uh, which is very important to us and also to other small other projects because that enables the composability uh, be, uh, among several smart contracts, which is powerful, and I think so. Uh, EVM composability is something that we care. And the second thing is about the de uh, developer friendly. For example, like on Arbitrum, we don't need to rewrite a single line of our code, so it's pretty easy for us. Save a lots of lots of costs for us. And the third thing is about the decentralization. So. Uh, which means a, basically means a security. So the optimistic roll up and uh, ZK roll up is relatively better than the Polygon or Binance chain in these mm -hmm. terms. And um, the last thing uh, we care is about the product readiness for sure, because um, we, we want to find a solution that kind of match our timeline of launching so we can go together, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, so uh, at least uh, based on all these aspects, so back in last uh, year, we already choose the Arbitrum because at that time, uh, Arbitrum is kind of leading in this all, all kinds of these aspects. For example, uh, uh, the developer is pretty developer uh, friendly and it saves much more gas fee than, uh, optimis uh, than optimism back at that time. But I'm sure optimism is kind uh, is also upgrade and uh, iteration to, uh, to have a better solution. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so for now, uh, we are still like uh, kind of like uh, we'll uh, still choose to launch on the Arbitrum for now. But uh, like later, I mean, after we have the first launch, uh, we will also uh, look into other, uh, other chains or other solutions to expand the whole ecosystem. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's clear. So you are quite near the launch, uh, as I'm aware, it all depends uh, on Arbitrum at this point, is that right? Yeah, yeah. So our expected timeline is uh, at the end of this month. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we actually have been waiting Arbitrum for a while, but uh, for now, like, you know, like actually um, both Optimism and Arbitrum right now, their solution is kind of quite similar. And uh, so, we, but both of them are not ready yet. So like, we're still waiting uh, for us uh, to, to uh, waiting for their readiness so that we could, um, we could uh, have the official launch on them. Yes, I know that Arbitrum team has been working very hard and uh, many projects right. are waiting. So we'll have an explosion and the second DeFi summer um, when all of these solutions are ready. But I guess it get, it's better to take it slowly and surely, uh, considering what importance the layer two brings uh, to the market. So um, can you tell us a bit more about what makes MC Dex special and stand out? I know it's the first decentralized exchange for perpetuals. Is there anything else special that you would like to share? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, honestly speaking, because um, our uh, the full uh, the decentralized perpetual swap has been quite hot recently. As mm -hmm. far as I know, there are already you know more than ten competitors in the space, and uh, yeah, so the famous one is DYDX. You may heard of that. They mm -hmm. just launched their token, which kind of you know like. Um, accelerate the competitions among us. Yeah, but MCDX is definitely like the 
um, one of the most innovative solution of the decentralized perpetual swaps based in two aspects. Uh, the first aspect is fully permissionless, uh, which doesn't uh, doesn't only mean that traders can trade on MCX permissionless way in a permissionless way, but also anyone can create any perpetual market in a permissionless way. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, so if we check on Binance or FTX, uh, you can we can easily see there are more than a hundred markets there. And however, if we take a look on the DEX, uh, like DYDX or uh, even our uh, our V2, which is not permission, is there are only like several, I would say 20 mm -hmm. at most markets. So on the market diversification is actually one key uh, pain point right now for the traders. Mm -hmm. To, for them to uh, adopt uh, that. Uh, so instead of our pro project decides to list what markets, mm -hmm. we let the, we shift the power of creation of the perpetual market to the whole community that they can create whatever they like. So this is very good for the long tail markets that, ex um, that will kind of boom the whole ecosystem. Yeah, and the second aspect I, that I want to emphasize is about the liquidity because um, liquidity for traders means cost. Better liquidity means lower cost for traders. So um, our solution is actually very similar to the Uniswap V3 logic uh, because our, um, our protocol is fully powered by our revolutionary AMM that has been focusing on improving, improve the capital efficiency. So um, we have been running some tests that um, the uh, liquidity uh, on, around, the, in, uh, around the spread is, uh, is very similar to the liquidity around the index of the central exchanges. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have been uh, open the test net of on Arbitrum for like a couple of months, we have received like many feedbacks from our community that the user experiences on our uh, platform is on par with the centralized changes, which definitely includes a liquidity part. Uh, so yeah, so we are kind of very uh, confident to, to share that these two key aspects mm -hmm. are basically the two pain points right now for the uh, for the DEX adoption. So we kind we we got uh, we get these lessons and learns actually from our V2 last year. So mm -hmm. yeah, we, we observe the problem and then that's that's where that's how our V3 uh, come up that we solve those problems. And yeah, just cannot wait for the official launch. We've been waiting for a while. Yes, yes. Uh, well, all the good things take time, as they say. Um, I'm very curious uh, to hear about your incubator program. What is it all about? Um, I know that you've yeah. done a... Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Me. So, um, yeah, sorry. So incubator program is something that we will focus after we officially launch our V3. Uh, because um, to a little bit more in background information uh, is that like actually we regard uh, the perpetual swap is a very good base uh, asset for other protocols. For example, uh, we have been uh, in close contact with several projects that their smart contract can build on top of us so that we could uh, create some very interesting product for the users. Uh, one thing that I want to mention is the copy trading that uh, I honestly like not everyone can trade perpetuals, you know, like only someone with uh, a proper uh, financial knowledge, right? Not mm -hmm. like everyone can do that. So uh, with a copy trading uh, smart contract, we can involve two parties. One party is the pro traders who can provide the trading strategies. And the other party is the uh, I would say that average users, they, they don't know how to trade, but what they what they need to do is only to deposit some money in the smart contract and the smart contract will automatically follow the strategy of the traders. So in this way, mm -hmm. it's, more, it's, it's, it's similar to a fund concept mm -hmm. that uh, in this way, we combine the two parties together and we can also, this smart contract can automatically drive 
many trading volume of our platform. So uh, it's like a win-win situation that we can wider the participants of our uh, uh, users. And meanwhile, it also like uh, can create some value for the copy trading uh, product. Yeah, so this is just like one example mm -hmm. that we actually recently are looking for some teams that they can realize this uh, copy trading project. Uh, if anyone is interested, uh, feel free to reach us. Yeah, because um, for our team, like our focus is the decentralized perpetual swap. Uh, this way is definitely not the ending. We will continuously upgrade and iterate it to provide a better decentralized perpetual swap in the long long run. So like in for the whole ecosystem, anyone is interested to build another smart contract or project that based that is on top of ours. Uh, so we would like to provide uh, helps for those teams. Uh, we would like to perhaps provide help in terms of like regarding the investments, regarding the go to a market strategy, the token knock economy, anything that, yeah. So we would like to, because this is like a win-win situation, we can grow together and to provide a better product to the end users. So yes, yeah, so this is generally the idea of our incubator program and uh, welcome like anyone who, who has a team but don't have an idea yet. Well, we have many ideas. We just don't have the talents to realize them. So yeah, so this is basically the uh, idea behind it. Great, uh, thank you for sharing this. And I will share the link with our audience uh, below the video so they can find you and uh, apply uh, to join the incubator program. I think yeah, it's a great, you. great initiative. And as we know, Ethereum communities and crypto community in general, it's all, it's all about development and community building things together. It's great to see the power of community. Uh, yeah. Uh, is there anything else that you would like to share with the viewers? Uh, I think one more thing is uh, like, because our uh, V3 launch is like just around the corner, mm -hmm. uh, we will have, we will definitely have many programs uh, when we do the launch, for example, the liquidity mining, uh, the transaction mining, and some um, some NFT campaign. So there's a lot will be going on, like uh, keep close eye on our uh, Twitter of MCDEX <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so that's, that's something I want to share a little bit more. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jean. It was a pleasure talking to you and the product sounds very exciting and wish you all the best in the launch with Arbitrum and the launch of general product itself. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm leaving the links uh, to, to find you and to find MC Dex on Twitter and website below the video. Uh, so thanks again for coming to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Agne. Thank, Thank you, you for much. having me. Bye.